it's Mac. How's it going guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about vapes again. For those who don't know, these are beginner tutorials um, for literally beginners. So if you're advanced, this is probably not the right place for you to be. So we've talked about um, why vaping exists, why I vape, which is personally so I don't have to smoke cigarettes. Um, and also because there's some interesting flavours. And I'm drawn to that in the technology side. And I've also done a little video about batteries, explain them, that there are different voltages, you can control the voltage, what's pass through, etc. So have a look at that if you're confused about batteries um, too. Today I'm going to be talking about um, atomizers, clear atomizers, glass atomizers, etc. So today, let's unscrew this. There we go. I cannot see how well this looks on the monitor, so I'm just going to have to open up a video so I can see. So here is mine. It's a glass atomizer. Um, and this is the ProTank Mini version, ProTank 2 Mini version 2. And what I like about this is it's glass and stainless steel, so it looks quite nice. Um, that's not the main reason to buy something like this, because there are different materials, different colours. Um, different shapes, sizes, etc. There are so many variables, but for beginners, there's one thing that's quite important in my opinion when choosing your first, um, when you're choosing your first pieces, because um, you could go with cheap plastic and not be satisfied or get the proper taste you deserve um, or expect. So let's have a quick chat. First, materials. Um, the common ones are plastic or glass, and with plastic, of course, um, sometimes you can get residue leftovers, the juices could combine, the smells, taste, etc. could still be in the plastic, even though you've washed it. Whereas with glass, that would not be the case because it's glass, and glass does not carry or keep the residues, smell, taste, etc. when they're clean. So the wise option would be to choose glass. Now, um, there are there's another thing, um, budget. Some people don't want to spend too much on their first vaping device. So plastic looks like a good idea at first because it's like a couple quid, nothing much at all. But um, I'd advise you to spend, I think it's like two quid extra or something silly like that to get glass. And I recommend the ProTank Mini to because it's it's cheap, to be honest with you, and it gets the job done, it's glass, and it looks good. So that's all I can say. Then let's move on to the shapes. So with this, I'll call it a stealth vapor, or most people do, because when you chuck on a small battery, um, you could um, vape in public without people realizing so much. Um, also known as stealth vaping which is where the mini um, tanks come in, etc. There are larger ones, such as the um, uh, Kangatek Pro Tank to full-on size, the big brother of this, which is about mm, that size. And you could also get larger batteries, also known as mods, which we won't get into in this video because this is a beginner's video. I'm currently using an Ego T um, 1100 on this at the moment, but there are different ones available, etc. So, with the tanks, is there anything else we need to go on? Yes, there are some other differences, such as rebuildability, um, and some you can't rebuild. Now, with this, you can rebuild it, and it's high quality. Whereas a clear eye tank, um, like a plastic one, you wouldn't be able to rebuild all of them. Most of them um, are pretty much standalone all in one, like pieces, if you, if that makes sense. I'm trying to make this sound good for beginners and not get too advanced or throw too many buzzwords because if you do, then it's intimidating. So there we go. Now you know about the tanks, atomizers, etc. for a beginner. And in my opinion, you should choose a glass one because they are higher quality and it's not much difference in price, to be honest, at least, um, the plastic ones you throw them away much faster than you would with the glass ones. These would probably keep for quite a while, to be fair. So, thank you all for watching the beginner tutorials. 
And coming up soon, I'll be talking about um, whether startup kits are worth buying um, or whether it's worth just building your own one to begin with. And I'll be talking about budgets. Um, and then after that, I'll be reviewing some cool eat liquid um, juice, whatever you like to call it. So thank you all for watching. Take care. Mac out. Bye.